So what are the positives and negatives, the pros and the cons of living in Central Florida? Today, we're going to discuss that and more looking at some of my favorites when I think about the pros and cons of living near Orlando. Let's dive into it. Starting off first, we got to talk about it. The attractions. That's a pro for sure. I am a big fan of going and seeing Disney, or Universal and SeaWorld, all these other places that they have in the area that are made to be some of the best attractions in the world. Honestly, they make this area specifically so that they can entice tourists to come and spend their money and have a great time with family. When you live close to all that, you have the opportunity to go to these places all the time, go on the great attractions, try some special food, and then kind of take it slower. On vacation, you're rushing around, going to do a lot of things, got to see a lot of people, and totally get it. But when you're here and you live in the area, it can definitely make for a, a much more relaxed pace when trying to kind of enjoy some of those special amenities and attractions and more. On that same note, I had actually never been to Universal, SeaWorld, some of the other places that we've been to and still need to get to, by the way, in Central Florida before I moved here. When I moved here, that's when I had the opportunity to kind of stretch my legs a little bit and try the other places and really see how great they are. And the reason for that is because, you know, you find something that you love and you just go back again and again and again. And then once you live in the area, you have the opportunity to kind of stretch your legs a little bit and try different places in the area because you have so much more time in order to try those places. So it's it's really great to have that opportunity and just to have more time in general. Now with those amazing attractions and things meant for the tourists, one of the pros slash cons, and I'm going to get to this, this is, this is combined here, it's the tourists. The reason why I say pro slash con is because on the con side, you have more traffic, right? You have more traffic and it just kind of creates congestion everywhere, not just on the roads, but like at the airport, like everywhere, everywhere, there's just more people. I originally lived in a highly trafficked tourist area, Washington, DC. So I am pretty familiar with living in a tourist town, if you will. I wasn't quite in the city, but I was just off of the city. So I, I know what that's like. I'm used to it personally, but if you come from a town where it's just not as much going on, then I can totally understand how it feels a bit overwhelming. When you come to Central Florida and maybe you're thinking about living here or whatever it is, it can be a lot all at once with so many people from coming from all over the place, which is actually one of our best benefits. I think it's a little bit of a pro, but from all over the place, bringing all their unique ideas and food and culture, it's, it's really spectacular, but it can add a lot of traffic. So just, I guess, pack your patience for life. <laughs> It's probably the best way to think about this one. So there is a, there's a positive there, but also, yeah, more traffic and more people. Now, another con here, and this one definitely needs to be talked about, is the weather. Sometimes it is really hot, and sometimes it's extremely hot. So, you know, you take your pick there. It's, uh, it's one of those things where you get used to it. You do. I, I'll be honest with you. I got used to it. I did. Um, but it took it takes about a year and a half. Maybe maybe like a year. You have to go through that super brutal first summer. You have to do it. it. It's like a mandatory thing. Otherwise, you know, you'll just come in winter and say, oh, this is how it is all the time. Then once you move, you'll experience the summer and you'll be like, oh my gosh, what? Yeah, so it's very, very intense for the summer. The, you get the humidity, you get the heat. And some people are like, oh, I can take the heat. It's the humidity that really gets you. So you, you learn to adapt. You stay inside a lot. You wear different clothing, more shorts, short sleeves. And you hydrate. I cannot stress hydrating enough. It's one of the things that I did not do well enough at first. I'm getting better at it. I'm still trying to get even better at it. But it's you got to do it because that humidity will just drain you all day. Another pro slash con, because this is going to vary depending on where you're coming from, is the cost of living. Now, if you're coming from Hawaii, uh, it's going to seem like it's not very expensive to live here. If you come from Washington, D.C., it's going to seem like it's not very expensive to live here. I had a friend who lived in Tennessee, and it seemed a lot more expensive to her to live here. So... It really depends where you're coming from. It's not as expensive as many areas in the country, but of course there are areas that are less expensive. No question about it. So it comes down to like this level in your mind, like what are the, the positives and negatives of that situation for you? I believe that it's not as expensive, but again, I'm coming from DC, one of the most expensive areas to live probably in the country, New York, California, you know, of course. But yeah, it's, it's more expensive there. Uh, here it's not as expensive, but it's getting more expensive all the time. No question about it. I think we can all probably see that on the ground. It's getting more expensive to live in Central Florida. Another positive there, though, is they have a lot of growth in the area. So you see a ton of like buildings being put together, homes, of course, townhouses, condos. There's a ton of construction. That's also a positive and a negative. And it won't be forever, of course, but they keep the roads in pretty good shape and they're just kind of always doing something. Someone's got some project going on. So it's one of those things where... You know, you kind of deal with it because you know it's like positive progress and construction and all that. But yeah, it's always construction. But at least they're making more places for people to live, which is great because more people are coming to Central Florida. 
on that note, yeah, it's getting crowded and it is going to continue to get even more crowded. If we look at some of the predictions, it's just going to go up and up and up for the next couple of years because a lot of people want to move to different areas all around the country. Remote work has changed all of that throughout the world, actually. But uh, there's a lot of benefits to living in Central Florida. Another one of the pros that I want to talk about were the taxes, much less than where I grew up in Maryland in the Washington, D.C., but it can be more than other places. So again, it's going to come up and down depending on where you are, but the uh, the taxes are definitely better because they're not, uh, it's no um, income tax, which is really, really nice. They make up with that with sales tax. So 6% in Florida, and it will vary depending on county that you're in, but yeah, they do make up for that for with sales tax and tourism. You'll find that that's, uh, it's a lot of profit there for the state. Getting back to the weather here, one of the positives is the nice winter. It's not super cold here. It doesn't get snow that much at all. Uh, and it's usually pretty nice for, I want to say like three months of the year. It's really, really nice. And there are some months, like this January-ish, where it can get cooler. Uh, and we turn the heat on every now and again, but it's not super frequent. So you're going to want to kind of, you know, judge that for yourself, of course, depending on where you're coming from. If you're coming from Alaska, then it's going to feel different than if you're coming from Texas. So just something to consider. The uh, winters are nicer here. On that note, the snowbirds also come to Florida. What are snowbirds? It's actually a person who lives up north or somewhere where it's usually pretty cold in the winter and migrates down south for the uh, brutal winter up there and mild winters down here. I think there's positives and negatives to everything, you know, in, in life too. But for the snowbirds coming down, the uh, I think it's good. A lot of lot more people here. You know, it's it's positive for the economy, like for people buying things. But at the same time, all sorts of driving practices are found here. That's another con for sure. When I was in Washington D.C., a lot of different drivers came there too. Of course, tourist area. But here, it's even more um, let's, let's say diversified, where you see a lot of different people driving in different ways. So some people will go slower in the left lane some people will go faster in the right lane and it, it, it's people cutting each other off in different directions the driving down here can be a little erratic at times not a, it's not super bad it's just one of those things to be aware of i'm just being straight up and honest with you now in terms of schooling i've heard a mixed bag on this some schools are considered great others not so good so it really depends on specifically which school your kids are going to so it's just something to be aware of uh, i've heard good things and bad things so it really does depend on exactly where you are there is no doubt that central florida is a growing place a lot more people coming in and it's a good thing i think that the more people we have the bigger the economy can grow in florida and then the more opportunities that everybody has i think personally it's a good thing but i know that there are positives and negatives to that as well thanks so much for being a part of the fun with me today and a special thanks to our patrons for making all of our videos possible until next time have a magical day and i'll see you real soon